you saw my last video, uh, you should be able to get the edges while looking. It's the most difficult step to perform and to memorize. So now I'm going to teach you how to memorize. Uh, for edges, you use a system of letters. So you've got green as your top, yellow as your front. And for letters, you've got um, you start on the top face. And it goes A, B, then you go over here, C, D, then over by my thumb, E, F, G, H. Then I go back to the front, I, J, K, L, M, N, and on the back, O, P. Then I go right here. We start up here on the top, so we're going to start down here on the bottom. And we start on the bottom face. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. So that's 24 letters. Um, if you know how to blind solve and you know how to memorize, you may notice that my technique is a bit different. It does not make it any harder. In fact, I think this technique is a bit easier. It really does not matter how you memorize edges as long as it's consistent with all your solves. So just remember all those letter slots. Now use the chain method like you do with the corners when you're replacing them. So for edges, you look at this first one, look at this edge, find out where it needs to go, then find out where exactly this sticker here that's on the top needs to go. It's blue, red. Um, I know from memory that that needs to go to Q. You get pretty fast at this after a while. So here's Q. So that's all I remember. Q. And that means you'll bring this one up into the buffer zone, perform the edge switch algorithm. Then this piece will be switched right here and we'll be placing that one. So you remember Q, you're out of this piece. That needs to go to, I believe, N. Let's see. Yep, N. Q, N. Then this one needs to go to P. P is back here. Q, N, P. Try to make words out of it. So it'd be like quinip or something. Q, N, P. This one needs to go to D. Q, N, P, D. And some people like to keep their finger on the edges, so they know which ones they perform. The reason for that is when you get to the bad edge, you need to know which ones are already solved. QNP, uh, QNPD, that's right, Quinnipid, or something. QNPD, this one needs to go to W. Luckily, we didn't have to do X, not a very easy letter to work with. W is way back here, so I got my finger back there. QNPD. QNPDW, uh, Quinnipidu, or something. <laughs> QNPDW, this one needs to go to J. QNPDWJ, I'm probably not going to remember this, but QNPDWJ, QNPDWJ, just say it over and over. Quinnipid, QNPDWJ, okay, let me get that straight. QNPDWJ, alright, um, you know, I'm going to stop memorizing for right now. So you go to J, then J needs to go over to QRST. T needs to go to U. And now you've got your naughty corner. So let's pick one we haven't solved yet. We haven't solved G or H. You know that because it's not in the sequence yet. If you don't have that letter in the sequence, either G or H, then it's done. Can't just be G because you may have already solved H. It's the same piece. So we'll place that in G since you don't have to twist anything. So remember G. This one needs to go to number or er, to letter F. This one needs to go down to um, L. And this one needs to go to H. So it pops out the naughty corner. But I believe we have solved all the corners at that point. All the corners have been placed. So check in your algorithm or your uh, sorry your memorization pattern. Make sure all the edges are done. And again, you should end up on the bad edge to place it in this slot. Um, that's about it for memorization. You should now be able to, to successfully blind solve. What I recommend doing is have a scramble cube, ignore corners and everything, and just do edges, because edges is the hardest step. Now, when it comes to the order of memorization, most people naturally do it in the same order. They memorize corner, corner orientation first, then corner placement, then edge placement, because that's the order you do when you solve. Now, Corner orientation always has to come before corner placement, but corner placement and edge placement can be done in any order. Since edge placement is the hardest to memorize and the hardest to solve, it is my favorite step. 
um, I do it first. That way, I have less of a chance of forgetting it. Corner placement and orientation is pretty easy to remember. So what I do is when I'm memorizing, I memorize corner orientation, corner placement, then edge placement, then I solve edge placement. You can do it in this order if you want. So I solve edge placement, then I orient the corners, then I place them. But most people, this is the method I've been teaching you all along, most people orient corners, then place them, then do edges. That's just the most common method. I prefer my method because it makes memorization easier. Just remember, you can do it whatever order you want. Well, actually, I think there are only two options. So do it in one of the two ways. Let's think, are there two options? Well, you could orient corners, then do edges, but that would make things complicated. So just make sure you orient corners before placing them. If this is confusing you right now, like I said, just stick with the regular method. Orient corners, place corners, place edges. So now I'll scramble the cube, and I'll do an example blind solve while looking.